Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vic here, back from the Madden 22 Rebuild. In today's episode, we're going to be rebuilding the Pittsburgh Steelers. And um, yeah, my Discord once again told me to rebuild the P Pittsburgh Steelers, but they wanted me to do it unrealistically. I'm not going to be making a mass ton of trades here. I, they just wanted me to specifically trade away Big Ben. That is what they wanted me to do specifically, so that is what I'm going to do today. I mean, Big Ben in real life, I honestly think he's going to retire with the Steelers or hit free agency. I don't think the Steelers would ever trade him, but um, I don't think anyone would want him anyways because he's really bad, honestly. But um, yeah, as a Ravens fan, I'm going to try my best to rebuild the team. Not too fond of it, of course. Steelers are my by far my most hated team in the NFL, but there are players that I do really, really enjoy watching on the Steelers. I will, I will not lie about that. First of all, I really like Chase Claypool. I like him as a person. I like him as everything. Najee Harris is kind of sick. Pick Picking a running back in the first round, ugh, I hate that. It's, it's one of my biggest pet peeves for any NFL team. He turned out to be good, but at the same time, a first round pick on the most expendable position in the NFL makes me want to puke every time. Um, but still, defensively, love TJ Watt and love Minka Fitzpatrick. Apart from that, don't really like anything on this team. Um, as like people and players i don't like mike tomlin as a head coach he's a good head coach but as a person i don't like him but um yeah enough of my opinions it's time to get into this reboot about the pittsburgh steelers try to get them their seventh super bowl ring of all time so here we are with the overlook of the team and obviously Najee harris juju smith deontay johnson's a higher overall than juju and chase claypool that is surprising wow okay so very young receiving core um, I think I'm going to start this guy for sure. Pat Fierman. I don't know how to pronounce this. Um, I'm just going to call him Pat throughout the reboot. I always like, I always know it. And then I just forget it. Eric Ebron is not going to be a long-term player on this team. I might package deal him with big Ben. Um, Kalen Blosh. I would like to start over Snell. Snell. Um, Juju is a good player when he is healthy. By the way, his skin tone in this game, I know he has a face scan, but look at his uh look at his right arm. Well, the one look at his arm without the sleeve, then look at his face. I don't think that's a matching skin tone. And also if you look at his face right here, and then the skin tone right here, a little little different. Not gonna go too far into it. Just just saying David DeCastro got cut, so they got Tri Turner. Well Trey Turner, I, I said Tri. Trey Turner. 28 years old. I don't know. Uh, who was Kevin Dotson? Don't know who this guy is. Apparently seems to be pretty good. Wearing number 69. Nice. Uh, O-line definitely needs improvements, especially on the tackle position. Defensively, though, this is where this team shines for sure. Uh, Terrell Edmonds. I don't know if I want this guy long-term. Defends how he performs in simulation. This, this does look like a really bad DB group, but don't sleep on Joe Hayden. Joe Hayden and Cameron Sutton are pretty good DBs. Stephon Tuitt, Cam Hayward are extremely extremely underrated edge rushers especially being in tj watt shadow joe schober i didn't even know the steelers had joe schober shit dude um yeah i still thought he was with the jags for some reason i come i just didn't even recognize the signing alex highsmith don't know never heard of this guy um apparently he's been popping off i guess but apparently he's gonna be an edge rusher we have alex highsmith who has potential tj watt is an edge rusher stefan to cameron hayward that is a lot of uh, room for the specialists to fight over. Yeah, a lot of room. Joe Schobert, it's not going to be there. Um, cool. Defensively, also Minko, one of my favorite guys to watch. Um, yeah. Tyson Alalu. Alalulu. Um, I don't really know what else I want here. I like the review of this team. I like everything kind of here. Chris Boswell only has normal dev, but he's an 82 overall. That's kind of interesting. Chase Claypool. I'll move up here. Ray Ray McLeod. I remember him in the Bears game dropping that um, punt return. And then, um, yeah, let's trade away Big Ben now because uh, it has been heavily owed. Do not do not release him. That would be a heavy cap hit. I don't know if that's the right move to do that in the first place. Dang. Mm. Holy, I did not remember this season with Big Ben. 5,000. Oh, my God. I don't remember that at all. That was the Antonio Brown era. 25 million with one year left and that's what why is his cap hit so high then did they guarantee him that much money whatever um let's go to trade away player let's try to package deal him with eric ebron and see what we can get here 
Okay, now we're requiring a third and a four for Big Ben and Eric Ebron. Big Ben, nobody particularly wanted. I'm just sending him to the Panthers because apparently QB is their top need, but he's not going to really make that much of a difference for us anyways. So they said replace him with whoever you want, and I think I got someone in mind. I did have Jake Fromm in mind for this team, but then I remembered that Dwayne Haskins is on this team. So Dwayne Haskins is going to start whenever I had Dwayne Haskins. Oh my God. Whenever I had, this dude uh, does TikTok, by the way, Joshua Dobbs, pretty cool guy. Um, but whenever I had Dwayne Haskins in my Redskins rebuild, whenever they're called the Redskins at the time, he was the worst quarterback in simulation I had ever seen. I want to see if that's true again. I'm running the Titans playbook, which is a run heavy team. So it's going to be going to Najee Harris a lot more because I'm not going to trust Dwayne Haskins with this team. I'm sure it will do terrible in simulation, but let's see how um, how Najee Harris can carry the team. So anyways, guys, it's time to move into the midseason mark. Okay, so here we are at the midseason mark as we are 4-2. and two. Wow, winning record, second in the division, highly contested division. Browns are always going to be in top in, um, in terms of the division and Madden and stuff like that. I'm going to keep auto-generated rookies. I'm fine with that and um players ready to negotiate let's see what we got here we are going to have juju definitely want him back long term i know we took a pay cut last year so that way he could stay with the steelers mistake on his part but he's here forever now joe hayden in the real life i love you dude but in madden you're just <laughs> you don't do anything for us you're probably gonna be a 75 overall by the end of the year trey turner i i don't know what to do with you maybe at the end of the year i'll decide Two-year deal, actually. I'll I'll do that. Yeah, he resigns. Cool. Terrell Edmonds solely solely depends on how you do this year. Um, James James Washington, I really do like. Um, we just don't need him. Three receivers is just. We already have three above-average receivers. Kalen Balaj, I do like, but just don't need him. Especially, I'm not gonna. Um, I'm not gonna pay him this contract. I can probably pay a better player cheaper. Ray Ray McLeod is a no. Is that Taco Charlton? Yeah, it is Taco Charlton. Didn't even know he was on here. Everyone else here is a nobody, and I don't really care about them, so let's just move into the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs coming off a of loss to the Ravens, going from 4-2 to 7-10, bottom of the division, as everybody else tied at 10-7. Bengals take the division. Wow, the division really flipped on us. Bengals were at the top. Well, we're at the bottom of the division. Then the Ravens were in third place. Then we were in the second place. Browns are in first place. The only difference is between the switches. We made last and not third place. Um, yeah, kind of what I expected from this team. Seven and 10 is a little high for having Dwayne Haskins at a quarterback. But um, yeah, Dwayne Haskins, god awful. Not surprised, especially with the offense we're running. 19th best offense. 22nd best defense is extremely surprising. Uh, 3,600 yards, 23 TDs, 12 interceptions. Not Najee Harris, I expected him to have way more touchdowns. Snell had uh, eight TDs somehow. And Najee Harris had 1,500 yards, which is great, but and a mass ton of attempts. But that's not okay not to only have nine touchdowns. 4.4 average is pretty solid. Deontay Johnson, 1,100 yards, five TDs. Great ball distribution. Um, receiving stats obviously aren't going to be good if the quarterback stats aren't good. Uh, Devin Bush, 109 tackles, tackles for a loss. 17 for J.J. Watt, sacks. 14 for J.J. Watt, Stephon Tua with nine and a half. Um, Cameron Hayward with only seven. Three interceptions for Witherspoon. Um, safeties, one for Joe Schobert. Defensive touchdowns is zero. I'm sorry that I keep saying um after every sentence. That's one of my biggest pet peeves with other people, and I'm being a hypocrite and doing it now. So let's move in to the offseason. Here we are in the offseason as it looks like the Bears beat, no, the Bears lost to the Bills in the Super Bowl. Matt Milano in Super Bowl MVP, and no Steelers for any awards this year not even offensive player of the year for not offensive i mean offensive rookie of the year for Najee harris which is unfortunate let's see if we have any development upgrades Najee harris comes with superstar dev i already know that everyone else here looks the exact same defensively um stefan suet has superstar dev devin bush has superstar dev terrell edmonds did not progress he will not be here and what did i say joe hayden will have 75 overall will be a 75 overall by the end of the year. And I said it, and I guessed it, and I got it right. So anyways, guys, apart from that, we're going to move into the resign players to see who else that we may possibly have to resign. I don't think there's anyone that important. I think I already went through the list. 
if this thing will ever load at any point in year. Thank you. Looking into the 2021 retirement, we have AFC North. Okay. Browns kicker retires. That's cool. Looking into the players ready to negotiate. Anyone here? Joe Hayden? No. Terrell Edmonds? No. Everyone's just a no. So apart from that, guys, once again, we are. it's time to get into free agency. Okay, so this is what we got in free agency. Teron Armstead, left tackle. Definitely needed offensive line improvement. Dante Jackson, definitely needed DB improvement. Marcus Mariota, I think he deserves, deserves his second shot in the NFL, and he is usually pretty good in simulation. But for some reason, Von Miller's not signed. Antonio Brown, Young Way Koo, Patrick Ricard, Kareem Jackson, Corey Bohorquez, um, Chris Harris Jr. Like, why? Like, I wanted Von Miller, and then I thought to myself, I have Highsmith, and then I also have Stefan to it. I have Cameron Hayward. I have TJ Watt. I don't need another edge rusher, so that's why I just didn't touch him. I'll let, a, I'll let someone pick him up in free agency. So let's just move into the draft. Okay, I did not expect it to be that ridiculously easy to trade up to pick number three. I'm giving up my first this year and my second this year to swap to move up to six picks in the draft to draft a QB. I know I just said Marcus Mariota isn't that bad, but he was my backup plan just in case we couldn't get a QB. The QB class looks really, really good this year, so I definitely wanted to trade up to get one. And I think Jeremiah Cox looks like the best one here. He, I think he looks personally a lot better than um, Johnny Stein. Yeah, I think he looks a lot better in my personal opinion. So Jeremiah Cox, let's see what you got, man. Oh man, Jeremiah Cox got a nice cock, dude. Oh my gosh, I got some nice cocks right here. Uh, hidden development, six foot four, 227, 21 years old out of Vanderbilt. 91 throw power is a good sign. Yeah, that's that's the best sign. I saw A awareness, A injury, A accuracy mid. A accuracy mid and A awareness was the biggest thing for me. I don't care about carrying, I don't care about uh, stamina, but overall, he looks very good. Hidden development, long-term future QB. So let's see what the Lions pick. A QB? Yeah, Johnny Stein. There he goes. Where's the uh, next QB? I know there's one more on the board that's projected projected to go. Uh, oh, wow. And he doesn't go to the Broncos. The Broncos' top need is a QB. And yeah, the QB, Oscar Samuels, is still showing right here on the board. Yeah, see, this is why I wanted to trade up. Oscar Samuels doesn't look bad, but he doesn't look nearly as good as the top five. So I could have gotten Oscar Samuels here. Might have done that. Might have should have done that, but I'm not going to worry about it. Who's going to take Oscar Samuels? I really want to know, though. Please tell me. Come on. A left tackle. Come on, dude. DB. No, not draft board. I know this is taking a long time. I want to see who has Oscar Samuels because I think he could be a really good guy. Dude, no way. Everyone's passing on him. Come on, Giants. Joe Wilbur, a QB. Is everyone just going to pass on him? No way. Oscar Samuel to the Titans. My God, that took forever. Anyways, let's get to our next pick. All right, overlook of the team. Jeremiah Cox is a 76 overall hidden development player. Definitely worth the move up in the draft. Um, Schmidt is not that good. He was my third round pick. Kevin Green is going, Kendrick Green is going to be my starter. He's only 23 years old, which is pretty good. I'm going to switch up my playbook to the Chiefs offense so that way we can be a pass heavy team because Najee Harris did not do good that last year even though we were a run heavy team. So let's see. Can I get a KC please? Come on. Where is it? Show me Kansas City. Did I just go completely over it? Am I dumb? Tennessee. What am, am I dumb? Arizona. LA Chargers. Kansas City. Yeah, I completely missed it. I'm going to go with Miami's playbook, defensive playbook, even though it didn't do me that well last time. Usually what ends up going really well, I can't do it because, dang it, I usually do a 4-3 cover, which usually works really well. I mean, 3-4 mm, disguise, let's try that. It usually does work well in previous simulations. Um, and then, oh, we didn't even get a... Um, I guess I'll move Cameron Sutton. Does he have the size? He does not. I don't have a strong safety. Pierre doesn't have the size. What about you? Uh, six foot two, Justin Lane. Let's see what you got at strong safety because I don't want Minka playing that position. I want him playing my um, 
when I'm playing as my free safety. Let's see what you have back there. And yeah, generate best lineup. Come on, dude. Don't do that. And I think I might want to go to Baltimore's playbook on this. I know I just said I'll keep the Miami's playbook, but let's go to Baltimore because it's 3-4. And Baltimore usually has a pretty good blitz defense. Got that. Got all that. It's just making sure I have everything in place. Like where I'm at here, Pierre is my is my strong safety, so I'm not going to put him there. So, yeah, not Pierre. I mean Lane. Lane is, so Pierre can start, actually. Do that. And actually, yeah, start my rookie. Everything else here looks pretty good to me, guys. So, once again, guys, apart from that, hopefully our QB can perform. And let's get into the midseason mark. Here we are at the midseason mark as we are 5-1, second division. Similar to last year, coming off our first loss to the Cincinnati Bengals, who are 2-5. That is unfortunate for us. Let's see who we have to resign. Minka is a definite comeback for us. Up the money and he resigns. Stefan to it. Uh, he's only 29. I thought he'd be like 35. Well, not 35, more like 31 or 32. But I definitely want to resign him as he comes back. Deontay Johnson. Uh, yeah, I did I pronounce that right? Is it Dante? No, it's Deontay. Yeah, Deontay Johnson. I resign him. Devin Bush. Yeah, I'm just, well, I didn't get a fifth year option for him. I don't know why. Uh, EA took that out of their game, the fifth year option tab. Yeah, I should have got one for him, but whatever, he's resigned now. Cameron Sutton, I just, I think I could get something better in free agency. Everyone else here, just a no. So apart from that, guys, it is time to once again move into the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs, coming off a loss to the Bengals once again, who finished at the bottom of the division. It looks like they are our kryptonite. So we lose to them by a touchdown once again, finishing 13-4, but we don't secure a first round bye because of that loss. Get the second uh, seed, but we're probably going to lose to the Browns. That's how it always works in the simulation. Um, everything here looks good. Let's go to stats and awards. Let's see what we got here. God, what a god at QB I have selected. Did he even, he didn't even compete. How? Riley Bruce? No way Riley Bruce did better than Jermaine Cox. Jer Jeremiah Cox, I'm not Jermaine. I'm so idiot. I'm so stupid. Um, football team. 36 touchdowns, eight interceptions, 4,500 yards. What do we got? We had, we were just, oh, the only difference between us is we had more interceptions, but more yards. So I think we should have been ninth for MVP unless he had some kind of scrambling yards. And he also had a little bit more TDs than us. Just, he had, yeah, he had three more TDs than us. So I can see that. Wow. I was wrong about Najee Harris. 19 TDs, 1,500 yards. Snell stealing some touchdowns at 10 touchdowns. Juju with 1,100 yards, 11 TDs. Great year. Deontay Johnson, 1,000 yards, 5 TDs. Chase Claypool, 1,001 yards, just barely in 8 TDs. Uh, Pat with almost 1,000 yards and 6 TDs. Great year for him. Looking into it defensively. Uh, Devin Bush, 123 tackles, tackles for a loss, 22 for Cameron Hayward, sacks, 16 and a half for JJ Watt, 11 and a half for Cam Hayward, only five for Stefan to it, but he did have 19 tackles for a loss, interceptions, four for Dante Jackson, uh, safeties on the team is one for TJ Watt, defensive touchdowns is zero. Third best offense in the league, let's see what our defense is with Baltimore's playbook, we got third best defense in the league, I'm rocking with these playbooks from now on. Let's see if we can beat the Cleveland Browns to move on to the divisional round. They have a really good overrated uh, overall team. I almost said overrated. They kind of are overrated in real life. 11-6 Las Vegas Raiders. Surprise, we beat the Browns. Let's see if we can make it to the conference championship. Rookie year, yes, we do. 34-19. Now we're, we are here to face the Indianapolis Colts. Let's see if we can beat Carson Wentz and the Colts to move on to the Super Bowl. So their QB actually isn't Carson Wentz anymore. It's actually Jameis Winston as we are up 10-0 against Winston. Now 10-7 in the second quarter. 7-13. 20-7 against the Colts. 27-7. Our rookie QB shredding this team. 34-41-7. 41-14. Game is long over. 48-14. The abuse. The abuse against Jameis Winston and the Colts. My God. Jameis Winston threw four interceptions, classic Jameis Winston. Four TDs, zero interceptions for Jeremiah Cox. Oh my God, dude is a freak. I'm so glad that the Broncos once again missed out on a um, 
on the next Peyton Manning, basically, because in my last um, rebuild, my Texans rebuild, I ended up trading in the draft to pick number two. Um, for the Broncos pick, I swapped our picks again, and I picked up Eddie Brink. This dude had like 5,000 yards for three consistent seasons, including his rookie season. So this is basically what we have now. Here we are in the Super Bowl here to face the Cardinals. Oh my God, 12 years later, we get a rematch against the Cardinals. Hopefully we can come out on top again. Honestly, if the Cardinals made it to the Super Bowl and then didn't sign Larry from free agency, I'd be pissed. Uh, Jer Jeremiah Cox has superstar dev, definitely the right pick over um, Oscar that was in the draft. Did he come with this or did he get this? No, he got superstar dev. So he came with star dev. Okay, that's sick. Um, offensively, that's the only upgrade we have. How is how did Juju not get a upgrade? The dude had a ridiculous amount of stats. How did he not? Yeah, he had 11 TDs and 1,100 yards. That's pretty good. I'm not going to change it, though. Um, defensively, looking into it, Cam Hayward now has superstar X-Factor. Dante Jackson has superstar development. And yeah, it looks like Lane... Did actually pretty good at strong safety you didn't get a dev up though um everything else here is fine with me so apart from that guys it is time to get into this rematch against the arizona cardinals to see if we can once again steal a super bowl from them in the fourth quarter here we are in the super bowl against the cardinals as it is i just tapped my microphone just a second there ago but uh still 14 to nothing against the cardinals 21 to nothing as we are abusing them 28 to nothing in the halftime no way 35 to nothing 35 to 3 38 to 3 i'm sorry cardinals there's not going to be any fourth quarter comeback for us because we just humiliated you in the super bowl 38 to 3 crushing the cardinals first starting rookie qb ever in history to win a super bowl no rookie starting qb has ever won the super bowl before and it looks like jeremiah cox has done it here wow what a way to do it went from seven and ten last season trading up in the draft for arguably the best qb in the class now maybe uh the washington football team got a better qb but ours won a super bowl at least okay so here we are after the season and well after the super bowl 34 hold up hold up the cp is just generating a bunch of random scores 34 to 24 EA, are you stupid? I just clearly saw the score was 38 to 3. Sure, let's quote unquote make it a close game. Stefan to it when Super Bowl MVP. Now I'm skeptical about that. I don't think he might have won MVP considering that they're just making crap up now. Um, Riley Bruce wins Offensive Rookie of the Year, but does he win the Super Bowl in his rookie year? No. Screw Riley Bruce. We got the better player. Um, let's look into the re-signings now. We definitely beat the Cardinals 38 to 3. I don't know why it says that um let's i said um again it's uh, it pisses me off whenever i say it too now finally let's go into the 2022 retirements afc north ben jones was former titan now in the Bengals as he does retire players ready to negotiate let's see what we have here um cameron sutton did not develop everyone else here is just a no just a big big no for us let's go to free agency here we are after the free agency recap, and we got Kareem Hunt on a super cheap deal. Got the double threat in the backfield, kind of like how they had in Cleveland. Got the Ron Payne at defensive tackle. D-line and pass rush is ridiculous. Jordan Poyer at strong safety. Bryce Callahan at DB. And Young Hoku. I know it's pronounced Young Weku, but whatever. Um, Aaron Rodgers somehow in free agency still. And it looks like Corey Bohorquez is still bunch of other these guys like Aaron Rodgers is always in free agency and he never gets signed it's so irritating let's get to the draft Chris Newhouse left tackle gonna move him to right tackle he's gonna be on another offensive tackle for the future building up this offensive line for our QB and that will be our first round pick so this is the overlook of the team after the draft Newhouse is a 72 overall a hidden development player great six foot five 315 pounds Great team. I want a dual threat back, not a full back with Kareem Hunt. Um, should I share the reps? You know, I'll share the reps with that. I'll be cool with that. Uh, actually, Najee Harris, I, Najee, I want Najee Harris to get X-Factor. Rush defensive tackle. Ooh, that's hard. i um, going to start Cameron Hayward there. Rush left end. I want Stefan Tewitt to start there. Yeah, I'll need to change that. Defensively, this is what we look like. 
like what we got going here and cool so let's go into the depth chart and change the rush left end to go to depth chart and uh, mm, rush left end cool now rush right end then go to here i want stefan to it rushing off the left side and yeah cool with me so apart from that guys it is time to move into the third season and the midseason mark. Here we are at the midseason mark coming off a win to the Texans. We are 7-0, top of the division. Ravens are 6-1 here to face the 7-0 Kansas City Chiefs. Let's get into the players ready to negotiate here. Chase Claypool, I want him back. Been very consistent for us. Let's up the money. Whenever you have a rookie QB and don't have to pay him, oh my God, it benefits you so much. Trey Turner has actually progressed a lot more than I thought he would. I'll give him, I'll give him money. Yeah, I'll give him a deal. And he re-signs with the team. Kevin Dotson, I definitely want back as well. Spread that out and let's see if he resigns. He does resign. Alex Highsmith. I don't know if this is a player that I want. Do we need a right, right outside linebacker? Yes, but we have Deron Payne, Stefan Tuitt, Cameron Hayward. Like, I don't know what else I would need. I do like Alex Highsmith and I also have TJ Watt. Like, how could I forget that? Like, I, it's just not necessary to need another edge rusher and I think I'm just gonna end up trading him away here I know it's like I know it's like so terrible for me to do this but at the same time he's just not necessary for me Jalen Johnson would be a sick pickup for me I would absolutely love that Jalen Johnson would you just straight up do that no you would not that and a third round pick would you consider that no I think they're gonna want to take my two so I think I will do that here. Yep. Uh, Highsmith and a second round pick for Jalen Johnson. I know you guys may be like, oh my God, like blah, blah, blah. I just don't need him. Like I have way too many edge rushers. He's just not a necessity for my team. Getting Jalen Johnson is a sick pickup for this team for sure. Go to roster, go to adjust lineup here. Go to, what do we have? Um yeah it looks like wait hold up it looks like new house has only star dev okay and yeah sure we'll have grace in play it really doesn't matter because what matters is your specialist this is what matters and high smith wasn't even playing so i'm cool with that everyone else who you're cool with that can can i get jalen johnson starting or a slot player please as he is in the slot now I like this setup right here. I like what it auto adjusted to. I like everything that we have there. Defensively looking sick. Got this. I want to see if we can beat the Chiefs who are 7-0. I want to see whose streak will end first. This is going to be a sick game. Please, let's get it. Let's get it, boys. 16-0 season. Can we do it? We do. 27-24 and a thriller. 8-0. Top of the division. Ravens are 7-1. Still right on our tail. Anyways, guys, let's move into the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs, finishing 17-0, top of the division, the first 17-0 team in history. Let's go. Stats and awards, let's see what we have here. Oh my gosh, MVP, MVP. Bro, he's not even in the top three for MVP, yet he got fourth best pass rating, second in passing touchdowns, and most yards blow me dude like that's so stupid he literally got fourth for all-time passing yards in a season and you're not gonna give him mvp one of the dumbest things i've ever seen best offense in the nfl six best defense 5300 yards 44 touchdowns 13 interceptions yeah that's right bryce that's right bryce on the football team we're a better player out of vanderbilt oh my god 22 tds 1300 yards from Najee harris great Chase Claypool, 1,300 yards, 10 TDs. He should get a dev up for that. Deontay Johnson, 1,000 yards, 9 TDs. Um, Pat had 1,000 yards, 6 TDs. And Juju had 11 TDs and almost 1,000 yards. Great ball distribution. Great year for everyone. Defensively, Devin Bush, 120 tackles. Tackles for a loss, 13 for Cameron Hayward. Sacks, 17 for TJ Watt, 12 for Cam Hayward. 10 and a half for Stephon Tuitt. Deron Payne with 8, 4 for Devin Bush. My God interceptions three for jordan poyer two for Devin bush two for dante jackson sick year zero safeties one defensive touchdown for poyer one for jackson so cool we should have won mvp for sure bro should have for sure for those of you guys saying oh my god there's no way you got a 17 no season you're cheating 
Forced wins. None, 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 none. Um, home win, forced, but that's not by me. The CPU automatically does um, the bye week. It forces the bye week. It doesn't matter. It happens in every time. None, 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 none. No forced wins against anyone. 17-0, completely legit season. Definitely should have an X Factor on my QB. If we lose in the divisional round, I'm going to be pissed. Let's see who we're going to be playing. We're going to be playing the Denver Broncos. Let's see if we can beat them. As we traded up and stole their pick, are they going to be mad about it? No, they're not. But we're going to be facing the 15-2 Kansas City Chiefs in the conference championship. So let's see if we can beat them. We have more Super Bowl rings than the Patriots. Let's try and get an undefeated Super Bowl ring, and become the second team ever in history to win a Super Bowl undefeated. The Patriots have made a Super Bowl undefeated, but they did not win it. And the Dolphins, I believe, went 14-0 in the 80s, possibly 16-0. I don't know how the seasons worked then, but um, I think they went 14-0 and won the Super Bowl, only team to win the Super Bowl undefeated. So let's get into this. Here we are in the game, three to nothing, now seven to three against the Chiefs at our home stadium, obviously getting the first round by 17 and 0. Six to 10 against the Chiefs, 13 to six against the Chiefs, 20 to six against the Chiefs, come on. What are we gonna have? Nine to 20 against the Chiefs, 23 to nine against the Chiefs, 16 to 23 against the Chiefs, this is a problem, 26 to 16. Ooh, it was getting close there, but we did beat the Chiefs once again to move on to the Super Bowl undefeated. Oh my gosh, uh, Jeremiah Cox, not a good day. Neither a good day from Patrick Mahomes. Both really, really bad days. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, nothing and nothing. Two and two for Jeremiah Cox. Um, Najee Harris had a good average. Looks like Javin Hawkins with the rushing TD. Where do all of our rest of our TDs go? I think we just scored a bunch of field goals with Young Hoku. Anyways, off to the Super Bowl we go. Here we are again, once again, in the Super Bowl. Here we are again, once again, in the Super Bowl. Kind of sounds weird, but whatever. 11-6 and six Philadelphia Eagles, who have Aaron Rodgers, who they picked up in free agency. I was whining about how nobody picked him up. Now he's finally just going to come back and screw us. Yeah, Jeremiah Cox gets superstar, develop, superstar X Factor. I'm going to give him Gambler. Give him Inside Deadeye. Give him Pocket Deadeye. Give him no look that I give him gunslinger and give him I can't give him that because he only has plus four morale with 92 overall. Najee Harris should be an X factor. I don't know how you get 22 touchdowns in a season and then just be like, yeah, nah, he doesn't he doesn't get an X factor. Like that's so stupid. Saquon Barkley had one good rookie year and then got injured for the rest of his career and uh, Madden is like, yeah, yeah, sure, let's give uh, Saquon Barkley superstar X factor for four years. But um, Newhouse, I don't know why Moore was starting over him. Dan Moore. I'll just keep him there. Um, offensively, Chase Claypool did get superstar dev, so I'll start him just because of that sole fact. And uh, Jeremiah Cox, did it. I'm holding back from calling him Jermaine. I'm so used to calling, saying Jermaine instead of Jeremiah. Jordan Poyer has superstar dev. He panned out very well for us. Um, anyone else on the team? I keep saying um, even though I know I just said it pisses me off. I'm surprised Joe Schobert has lasted this long at this high of an overall. But I'm cool with that. Joe Schobert will probably be here the entire rebuild as he's going to get probably his second Super Bowl ring. And yeah, let's get into this game against the Philadelphia Eagles to see if we can win our second Super Bowl ring undefeated. So here we are in the Super Bowl as it is 7 to nothing as the Eagles score. Let's drive down the field. We have the best offense in the NFL. What are you guys doing? 33 to 10. I was about to say 35 to 10. 17 to 10 right now. 24 to 10. Come on. What are you guys doing? Let's go. 21 to 24. The comeback is arising. 27 24. Our first lead in the Super Bowl. 27 27. 30 to 27. 34. Okay. Oh, this is too much to keep up with. Hold up. I got to hop in. I got to hop in. It is up and it is on its way. 37 37. They're for sure going to send this into overtime. Chris Boswell is the kicker, too. Okay, Steelers in overtime, and we're going to end it. Okay, wow, wow. I did not expect the simulation to be that good. 43-37. to 37. Chris Boswell is also the Eagles kicker, kicker, so what a revenge on him, I guess. Oh, that's so cool, man. We win it in overtime, by the way, the second overtime in history. Jalen Hurts on the bench, surprised he lost. Back-to-back -back Super Bowl champions, and we have our eighth Super Bowl ring, and this time it's going to be an undefeated Super Bowl. Here we are after the Super Bowl, and Coach of the Year is Joe Judge. Are you kidding me? I went 17-0 and won the Super Bowl. That is so stupid. 
Lamar Jackson winning MVP is dumb. Me not winning coach of the year is dumb. Me not winning offensive player of the year is dumb. Bro, what? How did Joe Judge win the coach over, of the year over me? I went 17 and 0. That is so stupid. Coach of the how? How? I meant to also put Ben can't take the word no for an answer, but it didn't fit that, so I guess it just said Ben can't take the word the word. But that's so dumb. Joe Judge should not have won as coach of the year. Retarded. Anyways, um, we're gonna be looking into the re-signings here because we already looked into the player players and their um development upgrades so yeah we have one more season to go i'm just gonna let the cpu handle all of it i'm not gonna jump into any games because we've already had a successful rebuild we, making it to the super bowl is considered a successful rebuild we made two one two one undefeated season as well ridiculous rebuild for us and all the eagles players just said nope we're out we can't win we're done we're not gonna win another one sounds good to me eagles afc north cool I don't think I want to sign anyone in free agency. Only $7 million. I don't think I want to sign anyone in free agency if we already have a pretty good team. Yeah, I like Green. I like Kendrick Green. I like our offense a lot. Defensively, I'll probably just pick up an outside linebacker in the draft, honestly. I don't know what else I would need. Maybe a second string tight end if I'm sp feeling spicy. Why not? And um, yeah, other than that, guys, I'm just going to skip to the draft. I don't need free agency. Kenny Lawton, defensive back out of Texas, hidden development, 91 speed. Looks pretty good, our first round pick, and probably won't have another good pick like that in a minute. Here we are with the overlook of the team after the draft. Looks great. I want Chase Claypool starting just because he has star dev. Well, superstar dev. Langford, okay. Looks like the CPU drafted this guy. Keyshawn Langford out of Missouri, cool. Lawton, I want to be my four string DB. I'm just going to look at his development now because it really doesn't matter. It's in the final season. So I don't think anyone would have a problem with it. Five foot nine, very light and short guy, but still. Gonna be in my next Joe Hayden, really. Star development, I'm cool with that. Um, I keep saying um after I just, I've mentioned it two million times how I hate saying it, but I do it anyways. And yeah, Lawton's gonna be my second string there. I like everything that I have here. Is Cameron Hayward? Yeah, he's not regressing that badly to where he's a 77 overall pass rusher. Um, I did it again. I'm going to stab myself off camera. Anyways, um, yeah, that was highly emphasized. You know, it was, um, particular. I just said, I'm going to, let's just get to the playoffs. No need for midseason. I'm going to fight myself. Here we are in the playoffs coming off a win to the Giants, 28 to 21, as we finished 14 and three, top the division, number one seed once again. I'm going to look into the stats and I'm going to let the CPU just handle simulation. I'm not going to jump into anything um jeremiah cox please just show me top three mvp not even you're not gonna tell me he's not top 10 mvp shut up ea top 10 pass rating third most touchdowns fifth and top five in yards he had a what fifth best offense there i didn't necessarily get to see it there top three offense yeah third best offense in the league and what was that 16th best defense 14th best defense cool 4,600 yards, 42 TDs. The interceptions is the problem. Okay. Najee Harris, 14 TDs, 1,500 yards. Chase Claypool, 1,400 yards, 17 TDs. Pat, almost a thousand, two yards shy from 1,000, 10 TDs. Yeah, how is this dude not an X Factor? Like, <laughs> he better be. Defensively, Devin Bush, 127 tackles, tackles for a loss. Um, 21 for Cameron Hayward. Sacks, 17 for TJ White. He's been so consistent. Same with Cameron Hayward, who's been 10 and a half. Deron Payne with nine. Stephon Tua has honestly disappointed me. He's never reached double digit sacks throughout this entire rebuild. Interception, six for Dante Jackson. Great year. Safeties, one for TJ Watt. Inter defensive touchdowns, one for Dante Jackson. Been so good. So good for us. Let's see who we're facing in the divisional round. This is the fourth and final season. Again, I've said it a million times gonna say it again we're just gonna simulate this i think the ravens also made the playoffs at 11 and 6 and a wild card same with the Bengals. let's see if we can beat them we do 35 28 let's see if we can beat the chiefs for the third time that'd be sick if we could and we do not they're gonna get their revenge on us and they're gonna take the super bowl kansas city chiefs versus the green bay packers they have jordan love now because uh, aaron Rodgers is now on the eagles let's see who is going to win the super bowl not the chiefs please give it to the packers and the Packers lose to the Chiefs. Dang. Unfortunate. Show me that Chase Claypool has superstar X-Factor. 
God, it took them long enough and we can't even use them now. But anyone else have, um, just said, I'm again, I'm going to kill myself. Uh, uh, now I'm saying, ah, uh. ah uh is better than, um, so it looks like Joe Schober did retire in his thirties. Whenever TJ Watts out here at 30, Stefan Tewitt's out here is 32 and Cameron Hayward is out here and he's 36 and they didn't retire. Yeah, Joe Schobert. Maybe get a life next time. We're a Super Bowl team. You just quit on us. Anyways, Lawton. Yeah, I did have star dab. This team is amazing. Love this team. Thank you guys all for watching. Jeremiah Cox is the future for this team. Love it, love it, love it. Such a good rebuild.